Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Nick, and today we're diving into a feature I've been using a lot lately, brim ears. If you've dealt with prints lifting or warping, you probably know brims can help, but they're often a hassle to remove and tend to leave behind material that requires extra cleanup. In the latest major release for Bamboo Studio update version 1.10, Bamboo Lab introduced brim ears. This feature lets you add flat circular pads in specific problem areas prone to lifting giving you targeted adhesion without the mess of a full brim. Before, I relied on my custom brim settings, which worked most of the time, but occasionally failed. Switching to brim ears has solved me both time and filament, making my workflow much smoother. So grab your favorite drink and let's explore this amazing new feature. The first thing we need to do is make sure we allow the brim ears to print when adding them to the slicer. To do that, we need to head over to the others tab and change the brim type to painted. Next, go ahead and click on the model that you want to add brim ears to. This will activate the toolbar above. You can either switch to the brim ears feature by hitting the L on the keyboard or by clicking on this icon right here. A menu will pop up. Let's quickly go over each of these features. Head diameter is going to be the size of the circular pad that would be laid down along the edge of your model. The higher the number, like 20, the larger the ear you will get. It also means you will get more coverage around each corner of your model. The next feature is the max angle. Now this works with the auto generate points feature. You can set your maximum angle here and when you use your auto generate feature, any angles that are below that maximum angle threshold will generate a brim ear. I personally like the auto generate feature as it makes my workflow much quicker and I trust the slicer to find the areas of need more than I would. Plus the last thing I wanna do is hand lay brim ears on 150 different parts. I'm talking about the Triceratops project that I'm currently working on. If you're interested in printing any size model, I'm currently working on a five foot long Triceratops print. It took over 70 rolls of filament and it's absolutely massive. The video is about 80% complete and one of the most detailed video tutorials I've ever created. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. That video will be awesome, I promise. The next feature is the detection radius, which also uses the auto generating option. This feature is built around the Raymer, Douglas and Peeker algorithm. This algorithm is a method for simplifying curves by reducing the number of points while keeping the overall shape intact. This approach is widely used for cartography and 3D modeling to streamline data and improve performance without losing significant detail. So if you want the short answer, the higher the detection radius, the lower the amount of brim ears that will be generated. The section view feature works exactly as it does in the painting feature. It will remove away sections of your model from the top to the bottom. This is great when placing down a large model like I do with a peg hole in the middle. It makes it easy to find those corners and place down those brim ears. Also, if you press down on the control button on the keyboard and use your mouse wheel, it will adjust the section view without having to use the slider widget. To get started, you can freely place brim ears. Using the mouse, just freely move around the model. You don't even have to be at the base of the model against the build plate either. Just click and the brim ear will place flat along the build plate against your model. The first time I opened up this feature, I was trying to place them flat on the build plate, but quickly realized that wasn't even needed. Now you can either remove all brim ears with this button, or if you select a brim ear, it will highlight and you can use this button here to remove the individual ones that are placed. Oh, and the last thing I wanted to mention, once you leave the brim ear feature, you won't be able to see them in the prepare tab. You have to slice your model first and view them in the preview tab only. And that's basically how this awesome new feature works. Again, I normally use the auto generate feature as it's quick and easy and gets the job done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial about the brim ears. Please hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this content. Have a great day and happy printing.